bed. Oh, oh boy. It's bed. Oh. What was that you were playing? It's called Reveille. It's the bugle call to wake you up in the morning. It's supposed to be played at dawn. Why can't it be played later on? I like it. It's horrible. Don't you think so, E.C.? <laughs> E.C. wanted to sleep in. Well, I'm sorry, E.C. I'm sorry, Nipper. It's just that dawn is a really, really special time. And you should see it every now and then. Especially when you're camping. <gasps> look! Look, E.C., look! I think I might even like getting up early and looking at the dawn. I like swimming. It's probably the feel. You don't exactly say it tickles or anything, but it just feels nice. I don't think a pleasure can just be when it's happening to you. I think when you're walking down the street and, and you're going to the movies, right, and you say, OK, oh, look, I'm going to the movies, I feel really good. And you see, that is giving you pleasure thinking about it. Your skin might be happy, but inside it isn't, or your inside might be happy, but your outside isn't. Just say, for example, you're a runner. Yeah. You take steroids. You feel really good on the outside. Yeah, see, sort of the drugs go into the, your body, make you feel all muscly. Yeah. Except the inside, you think, oh, God, what have I done? So you've been for a long run and you came first in a race. Outside, you don't feel really good because you're really hot and sweaty. You feel like you're going to die on the outside, but inside... But you have a lot of pleasure inside because you won the race. I think pleasure is something that's got to do with your whole body. If you're playing football, your whole body really feels really happy because you've done well and you've kicked the goal. Your whole body's helped. It's even pleasure to me, even if I don't kick a goal, if I'm in the winning side, I feel proud because I was in the team that won. I enjoy losing and I enjoy winning. You enjoy the things you do in that group and you would feel proud if you won or lost. I wouldn't feel happy if I lost. I'd feel totally stupid. You did try your best and um, you put a lot of effort into it. I don't think anyone enjoys losing. Everyone in the world wants to win. No, um, I don't mind losing. It's a game so you can enjoy it, not so you can win. Put it this way, it really depends what kind of person you are. What, as an individual, what do you call pleasure and what do you call boring? Everyone has different pleasures. Um, I'm very ticklish <laughs> and sometimes when they tickle you too much, it starts to, like might give you pain. Do you think that if you have too much pleasure then it can turn into something else like pain? I suppose if you're not enjoying something it's not pleasure. So you can't say it's too much pleasure. It's not enjoyable. Sometimes it would be pleasure and sometimes it wouldn't be. You can have pleasure over maybe a couple of minutes or a couple of hours, but if you get too much of it at one time, then it's really not enjoyable. If you have too much pleasure, you um, have a lot of pleasure, so you have a lot of fun. Like if you're playing around and you're really having a great time, there's not a barrier and the pleasure goes over the top of the barrier and on the other side of the barrier, it's not pleasure anymore. I don't think there's any barrier to that. I think it's all just pleasure. Garcia's Aku's here. And be good, you two, okay? Yeah. Bye. 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 What are you doing? Making sure his brain's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I almost do it in the morning. I'm not proud to do it. That's part of it. Scratch it. Oh, 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 oh. And it's I got. Oh, 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 oh. 
calm and sign hope not cool. Oh, no, with no hands I have. Oh, oh, help. Oh, an itchy itch. Use your back, Zach. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 That's a fire alarm. I'm testing it, and you children to go no further. Why? Because you don't know the new fire drill. What's the new fire drill? <laughs> it's not out yet. Sorry, can't be too careful. Stairs for you. The stairs aren't fun. Oh, well, you ought to have thought of that before you moved in here.
Sometimes when you're down And your day is going brown And you don't know who you are What's the journey and how far? It's important that you know Whatever miles you go Whatever skies you scan Whatever tracks you plan To make across the falling snow And how few or many people Decide to say hello I can I can Sometimes when you're down As a person can be And the life you live seems pointless And there's nothing you can see That makes you feel a sense of what In other times your heart was not It's then you have to say However bad your day I can I can do it! Do it! I can be the only one who tries To make a fire trail across the skies Journey round the moon and come back wise I can I can be the only one who knows The secret mountain pathway grows The one, the only perfect rose I can I can all over people say That nothing can be done And anyway There's nothing underneath the sun That's worth the time of day But to them I say I can I can do it in my way And to every one of them I'd say I can I can I can, I can! <laughs> he can't! <laughs> I will! He won't! I must! He mustn't! <laughs> he wouldn't! He wouldn't! Would he? No! I can! I can! I he can! Will. I can! I can! Oh. I No one to say back. It just knows. Is it friendly? Ask it. Friend dog foe! Friend dog foe! What kind of answer is that? Bee, bye, bye, bum! Bee, bye, bye, bum! The scary it. Say something nice.
Francis. That was fun! Fun? Ah, yes. Pleasurable leisure. Invoking a sense of well-being. Becoming well-disposed towards life. Huh? I mean fun! Like when you feel like laughing or singing! Or dancing! Ah, dancing. One, two, turn to the left. One, two, dip. One, That's two, turn to the right. One, two, mind your step. Against the rules. Can't you read the sign? Now put those tents down. I don't want to see them up another night. Get a move on. Come on. Thrill seekers, greetings. Will the two skins get three skins for the one? One day, Rocky, or make sense. Roll, Mocky. Two footers are always scratching. This makes their skin thin. <laughs> Observe the thin, worn-down skin of the two-footer. And so they invented clothes. A second skin. Hmm.
the two-footer is still developing. Observe evolution in progress. This, my frilly friends, is the birth of the two-footer's third skin. Dig in. 